Why is your door covered in Mitch's name tags? Uh, um, well, see, a few days ago we stole all each other's name tags. Um, I think he's got Jack's tags on his door. Oh. Uh, it's just a weird array thing, but shall we? Of course. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, just be thankful he's wearing pants. Yeah, but generally you'd be wearing your pants on your legs, not your arms. Newbie, you've got a lot to learn. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Bill? Bill, you're just in time listening to the music. The music. It's freaking awesome. Awesome. Well, okay, okay. All right, sir, can you tell me, please, what you're doing here? I'm just dancing, having myself a good old time. Okay, you're on an all-girls floor. This is what I'm trying to tell you, and you're not escorted. You're supposed to be escorted. Dude, I am escorted. Wait, you are? I am. By who? I am. Where? I am. Who's escorting you? I am. I don't see that. I got two RAs standing right in front of me! <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Sit down, shut up, and put your pants back on. If we can make things quick, you can save me some paperwork and make me happy. Or you could just drag this thing out and be a pain in my ass. But either way, it's only making it harder on you. I'm the Silver Surfer. Dude, you got nothing on me, boy. You know, judging by the fact that you're so messed up right now, you're dancing in an all-female dorm with your pants around your shoulders. Yeah, I'd say you're drunk and underage. And just discovering the wondrous world of alcohol. Dude, look, I really don't want to have to get the police involved, especially at this time of night, so I'm only going to ask you one more time. Put your pants back on, and let's get the hell out of here. You didn't have to be such a hard-ass, Bill. Jeez. Okay, uh, you got some sort of ID on you or anything? Does it look like I keep a DMV sample on me or something? What does that mean? <laughs> we'll look them up when we get downstairs here. All right, front desk. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to be bringing uh, Mr. Fancy Pants downstairs. Uh, let us know if anything else happens before we get there. All right, see you in a few then. Mr. Fancy Pants? Fancy Pants. Yeah, dude, nobody told you. What? Fancy Pants. We nickname all of our car boots, you know. Fancy Pants. Can't say their real names over the air. Oh, legality purposes. Pants. Oh, okay, yeah. Come on, get your pants on, let's go. Yeah. Confiscate that. Okay. Oh, that's my happy juice. Okay, yeah. Happy juice. Yeah, happy in the hallway. Out the door. Happy, happy Bill. Yo, <laughs> ladies. Okay, yeah. It's okay. We got them. Yeah, I have your number. Don't worry about it. So tell me, Stephen, can you do anything else with that tongue of yours aside from roll your R's? Well, uh. I am a champion popsicle licker. Licker. I, uh, I took gold in the Dreamsicle Olympics. Really? I've been known to be a talented popsicle licker myself. Really? Mm, well, aren't we just a talented bunch? Yeah, we just located Mr. Fancy Pants. We're going to be bringing him down soon. Let us know if anything else happens before we get there. Uh, I need to All see right, what's going on. You Can't you just let them handle it? Look, duty's duty, Trisha. You know I want to. It won't take long, though, okay? I'll be right back. All right, but hurry. So does it feel good to be back? Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm looking forward to graduating, but then I've got this whole real-world thing going on. What are you complaining about? Only three years of schooling you have to pay for, and I bet the picking up guys is a lot better than here. You know, you don't have to worry about amateur partiers and all. Yeah, sure. I bet the guys will be better. I should probably mention here that Christy always becomes uncomfortable around the topic of guys. Come to think of it, I can't really remember the last time she's been out on a date. Hmm. Speaking of guys, have you had a chance to meet the new RA? Oh, you mean Daniel? Yeah, him and Mitch actually are coming down uh, escorting some drunker. <laughs> I told Daniel I'd have his first incident tonight. He argued with me, of course. Oh, is he one of those egotistical guys that think they're God's gift to women? No, not at all. He just likes to get under my skin and mess with me sometimes. Oh, oh sorry, I forgot. 
I've known him for years. We grew up in the same area and went to the same high school. Oh, okay. I was going to say, he was faster. I knew he. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, Lonnie? How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing all right. Uh, can you give me a quick favor? Sure. we got to find out where uh, David here is going to be living. Oh, yeah. You got, you got an ID card or something? Oh, yep. Yeah. Right cool. So, Daniel, it's Another like you had that incident after all. Oh, well, but you said it would be with one of my residents. This kid certainly is one of mine. Excuses. He lives in 271 Vilsend. Yeah, well, what do you know? Is anyone of yours newbie? Yeah. Hey, so what's going on, guys? Hey, Steven. Oh, hey, nothing much. You know, Mr. Fancy Pants here thought it would be a good idea to dance around half naked on seven. No biggie. Mr. Mr. Fancy, Fancy Pants? Pants? Dude, where'd that come from? Dude, little Mitch and... Yeah, newbies. What can I say? <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be good. So, what have you been up to, Steven? Um, nothing in particular, just hanging out with a friend. Ah, a friend, eh? Yes, a friend. What's that what Brianna told me? She said you were Googling on some little freshman. Don't trust everything you hear, Lonnie. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna be doing a movie in a little bit. You two up for it? Um, you know, there's some things I need to take care of upstairs first. Yeah, sure, I've got nothing exciting planned for tonight. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to be going upstairs to my room and uh, grabbing a few things. Do you two need anything? Well, why don't you go see if some girls want to join us first? I mean, we don't have, want to have a complete sausage fest on our hands. <coughs> um, excuse me, but I like to think I have breasts, Steven. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, I, I think he's got a good point. Wait a minute. You wouldn't be doing anything uncivil in my locker room now, would you, Steven? What do you mean, Mitch? Oh, dude, don't even play. You better not have another girl in my room. Look. Stop being so paranoid, man, all right? There's some things I gotta take care of, so I gotta go, all right? I'll talk to all of you later. Bye, Steven. Bye. Bye. What was that all about? You see, Mitch here has a problem. People like to fool around in his room to mess with him. You've gotta be kidding me. Man, I wish you were. I really wish you were. Mm -hmm.